Hey everyone, welcome back to How to Be a Poser. Today we're taking a port key to the wizarding world of Harry Potter, where we're gonna hop on a broom with the Ginny Weasley six scale figure by Star Ace Toys. Let's get started. All right, here she is, the Ginny Weasley 1-6 scale collectible figure by Star Ace Toys. Still in her box, exactly the way she's gonna come to you. Comes with a solid array of accessories. We've got her broom, we've got her wand, a couple of Hogwarts texts. Can't wait to see what I can do with all this stuff, so let's get rolling. All right, here she is, the Ginny Weasley 6 scale figure by Star Ace Toys. Now, when I heard I was gonna be doing a video on this, immediately I, my mind went right to the broom because if there's one thing that, uh, that I dig about the Harry Potter movies, it's pretty much any scene that features a broom. Obviously, I'm going to need to get the proper hand onto this figure. And in this case, I think it's gonna be this hand right here. That seems to be the most broom worthy of the bunch. So let's get her hand onto the wrist peg. Now these are pretty stiff. I don't know if you saw the effort that I had to take to get that hand off. It was considerable. And yet I'm still confident that I didn't need to concern myself with it breaking off. It was very, very strong. Now, in order for us to affect this pose, we're first gonna have to bring in the Star Ace Light Stand, which is a fairly unique design that implements a multiple armature system. Uh, you can do quite a bit of things with this. Uh, there's two different lengths of primary armature, the, uh, the stand itself. I'm going to use this shorter one just because I don't think we need to go all out. In fact, I think less is more. It's pretty stiff, but I'm gonna break out a screwdriver. Just get a precision Phillips head screwdriver and you can tighten that up. That's nice and sturdy right now. Okay, the next piece of the puzzle is going to be this little guy right here. This that's going to drop down. There's a little bit of play there. So I may alter this, rotate it, or do something with it eventually. But for now, I just want to get the broom onto the stand. And let's just try that out. Okay, that's gonna be really, really top heavy. I think Star Ace planned for this. Knew, they knew this was gonna be a thing. That's why they included three separate keyholes for this system so that you can have your stand sort of like this and it'll support the weight. Well, we've got the broom ready and this is really gonna be a trial and error sort of thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get her knees bent just to affect the beginnings of that posture. Then I'm just kinda like, like lay her flat so that the broom catches her skirt right there and then I'm gonna bring her hand around and I'll make some adjustments to the hand and everything else later but for now I just want to get her on the broom and once we have her firmly there nicely balanced not going anywhere then we can worry about the minutia of the pose. I think that when we see them they're kind of gripping the broom just like this. There are no other left hands for us to use. That kind of means that we just have to sort of use the other hand just to kind of style the pose just a little bit. So I'm going to twist her torso this way and then bring her head back up so that she's facing forward. And just start playing around with the position of her legs and then kind of squeeze it all together in there and then let's just, just kind of experiment with it. So once you have her established on the broom, just kind of tweak it a little bit here and there until you just get her in a position that's kind of aggressive like she's really gaining momentum, gaining some speed. I'm just gonna move her up so that her body's quite a ways back from the bristles. I just, that just feels like having her all the way back there just doesn't really feel good to me. Besides, once you have her further back, then her robe begins to cover the actual broom and then it just looks like she's riding a stick and that's just no fun for anybody. And get her head up so that she's looking into the wind, so to speak. And I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna undo what I've done here a little bit and loosen the stand a touch, tilt it back a ways. Okay, once I get the uh, stand just tilted back ever so slightly, I'm going to go ahead and tighten that back up so that it doesn't rock forward. Then I'm going to kind of move in here a little bit and compensate. And what I've done here is I've just kind of brought her center of gravity back over the stand just a little bit more. I'm just gonna bring her robes around a little bit so that they're kind of flowing in the wind a little bit more and a little bit more attractive of a fashion, just making them look 
like they're flapping in the breeze, so to speak. Voila, yeah, there we go. We got a young witch riding her broom, looking like a pro. The character of Ginny Weasley rose from the relative background obscurity of being Harry's best friend's kid sister to playing a far more critical role in the overall conflict of the story. This figure makes for a fine representation of that character and will display well with other Star Wars figures in your collection. Did you enjoy that video? Be sure to subscribe by hitting the S icon on your screen and click the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.